The I-95 bridge is prime real estate, especially if you're a bird-eating raptor. Indeed, of the 25 pairs of peregrine falcons monitored across the state by New Hampshire Audubon staff and volunteer observers, one of the pairs has called the High Interstate Bridge home for about a decade. We actually uh, captured the female falcon um, uh, two springs ago and put a satellite transmitter on her and we're We've been following her since then. Problem is the location of the nest underneath the bridge, and it's in an area about to undergo a $52 million rehab. So today, after four months of planning between DOT workers and biologists in both New Hampshire and Maine, a southbound lane was closed and the box nest moved much higher. 40 feet above the roadway. We were trying to get in and, and get the nest moved prior to the birds actually going on the nest and laying the eggs. Falcons are endangered in both states and vital to the ecology. Maine DOT offering these pictures of peregrines on several of their bridges, something they encourage. They'll end up kind of doing pigeon control, which helps uh, long-term maintenance of the bridges as far as having to clean pigeon feces and stuff like that. So, you know, the workers here and workers in Maine actually like having peregrines on the bridges, so it ends up being kind of a win-win. That bridge rehab project is on track to start this year and last about three. A side note, though, about the falcons. Uh, biologist Chris Martin says the female in the pair actually was found dead last week. But he says as loyal and faithful as they are to their mate and their territory, they quickly find another. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.